One local business has teamed up with Richmond County Aging Services to help provide local seniors who have needed items for the holidays. Earlier this month, the Speckle Paul Rock Coffee Shop pinned envelopes containing wish lists for the area's elderly to a Christmas tree for the Adopt a Senior program. Manager Sherry Roberts says she started with 30 envelopes on November 12th and they were all gone by the following Monday. Roberts then got 16 more, which were gone the following day. According to RCAS, some of the local seniors don't have family in the area or qualify for assistance through the Department of Social Services. RCAS also tries to provide seniors with things that are often taken for granted that they don't think about, like cleaning supplies. RCSS said that approval was recently granted for a monetary donation box at the Speckle Paul that will collect funds throughout the year, not just at Christmas time. The agency has also received monetary donations from other local businesses and other residents call asking what the seniors need. With the envelopes gone, now pinned to the tree is a note thanking those who participated in the program with a list of items. Those items can be dropped off at the Speckle Paul or at the Richmond County Agent Services office. Facing a great test on the road Tuesday, the Richmond Senior Boys basketball team earned its third straight season opening victory. The Raiders traveled to non-conference Northern Guilford and outlasted the Nighthawks 63-59. Coming down to the final minute, a pair of clutch free throws from sophomore guard Paul McNeil, coupled with a floater and a free throw from fellow sophomore forward Jamarian Wall, helped the Raiders get the win. The Raiders entered the fourth quarter, leading 49-42, but an 11-4 run by Northern Guilford tied the game at 53 points. A dunk by Nolan Hodge and a bucket underneath from Vance Bulliard nodded the game with 2 minutes and 36 seconds to play. With 28.9 seconds to go, Wall dribbled the length of the floor before laying in a one-handed shot from the right side of the paint. He added a free throw with just under 6 ticks to ice the win. The Raiders will take a week off between games for Thanksgiving break and return to the floor on December 3rd at Uwari Charter Academy. Tip-off is set for 7.30 p.m. The Richmond girls basketball team also opened its new season Tuesday, but it was with a road loss at Northern Guilford. Despite a game-high 19 points by freshman point guard Jamia Lindsay in her high school debut, the Lady Raiders fell 59-31. Fourth year, head coach Teddy Mosley said the game's outcome came down to Richmond not being able to execute plays while the Lady Nighthawks did. Senior center Jamia Ratliff opened the game with a three-pointer from the right wing, but a 10-0 run by Northern Guilford put the home team ahead. Lindsay hit two free throws and a floater in the paint to cut the deficit to three points, but another 10-0 run by the Lady Nighthawks made it a 13-point hole. Richmond tallied just seven points in the second half, all scored by Lindsay. She had a field goal and a triple in the third quarter and added another shot in the paint with 150 left and regulation. Richmond will look to enter the win column for the first time this season when the Lady Raiders travel to non-conference Yari Charter Academy next Tuesday. The game will begin at 6 p.m. When we return, we've got your live at 5 weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. We have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. 
So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. And welcome to your Live at 5 Weather Report, Richmond County. Hope you're having a wonderful day as it has been a bit of a chilly one. Once again, we are seeing temperatures starting to drop down. Of course, we are looking at it being a little bit warmer for Thanksgiving tomorrow. And by the way, happy Thanksgiving to all of you out there in Richmond County. Uh, as, like I said, it's going to be pretty warm tomorrow, relatively speaking, compared to the rest of the week. Uh, it will be warmer. Uh, but looking at tonight before we get to Thanksgiving, 6 o'clock, 39 degrees, 10 o'clock, 34, with party fly skies for the evening. We'll have a sunset at 5 of 9 p.m. and a waning. Give us moon phase will be out tonight as well. Now, looking at Thanksgiving tomorrow, we should be seeing temperatures up in the 60s for the high, 40s for the low. Like I said, not quite as cold as it has been the past couple of days, nor will it be as cold as it is coming up after Thanksgiving. But still, you're going to need a jacket, no, nonetheless. Uh, but looking at Cumberland County, a high of 62 with a low of 47. Hope County, a high of 62 and a low of 46. Down in Robeson County, it'll be a high of 62 and a low of 48, with Scotland seeing a high of 63 and a low of 47. Up in Moore County, we'll be seeing a high of 61 and a low of 46. Here in Richmond County, a high of 62 and a low of 46, with Marble seeing a high of 63 and a low of 47. And on the western side of the Sand Hills, Anthony County, a high of 62 and the low of 47. Now looking at the seven day forecast here, uh, again, Thursday is gonna be your warmest day moving forward. After that, it's kind of downhill from here, although Sunday might give it a bit of a run for its money. We'll get to that here in just a moment. But Thursday again, party cloudy skies, high of 62, low of 46. Those party cloudy skies will continue on throughout the entire weekend, with Friday seeing a high of 56 and a cold low of 28. Moving on to Saturday, a high of 55, low of 33. On Sunday, a high of 64 and a low of 34. As we get into Monday and Tuesday, the beginning of the work week, we'll be seeing sunny skies with a high of 56 and a low of 32 for Monday, and a high of 64 and a low of 32 for Tuesday. And to round out the seven day forecast, Wednesday, high of 65 and a low of 32 with party cloudy skies. So, uh, again, Thursday, Thanksgiving is going to be looking really, really nice. Uh, you will still need a jacket. Well, good thing is that it will not be raining this Thanksgiving, so that is a plus. Uh, but definitely uh, going to be very cold uh, uh, the day after. So just be keeping that in mind. Uh, make sure you get your heavy set jackets ready to go. Uh, I know I do for sure. But that is going to do it for your live by weather report for tonight. And this will be the last one for the weekend as we celebrate Thanksgiving here as well. Uh, so for the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the live by crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on Monday. Good night and have a happy Thanksgiving in Richmond County.